News Nation now has exclusive reporting from a whistleblower who says the people of East Palestine are being railroaded by the government and even their own lawyers. And there's going to be a settlement and then you'll never know the truth. Joining us now, News Nation correspondent Rich McHugh covering it from Jump. Scientist Scott Smith and Michael Barish, uh, an attorney who represents 9-11 cancer victims. Uh, good to see each and all of you again. Rich, what do people need to know? All right, so Stephen Petty, he's one of the preeminent exposure experts in the world. He's been brought into hundreds of cases, the most pro high profile cases around the country. He was brought into East Palestine early on, February 2023, by the plaintiff's attorneys to test for exposures. So he's been testing there all along, right? Now he's coming forward at great risk to his uh, career uh, because he has an NDA. He has an agreement not to speak and to share these results. But he's coming forward now, and he came forward to us for two reasons. Because the plaintiff's attorneys, in trying to sell this settlement to the residents of East Palestine, brought out a new expert who basically said nothing to see here. And he says... That's not true. Like the, the, the claims this gentleman made are not true or, or not. Uh, we, we don't know for certain. Number two, he's coming forward to defend Scott Smith, another independent testing expert who we've reported on. And you've seen on, on our screen right there uh, because he's been smeared by the EPA and by uh, a PR firm associated with the, the plaintiff's attorneys. And he says that's not right. He has giant claims against the EPA saying they're misleading the public and he's coming forward to defend Smith. Let's take a listen in his own words. But the EPA has, at least with some of the data they presented publicly, they've won either um, obfuscated what they actually likely know in terms of presenting information to the public. Mr. Smith's work is being impugned to the extent that I think is not fair and not correct. It is one of the few times where I've been involved where I I don't think that the uh, the information that should get out there is getting out there. So not only are they misleading the public, Chris, the EPA, he says they're not even they were not even looking in the right places for the dioxins and these other harmful compounds because the wind shifted with the day of the burn and the, the evacuation zone should have been shifted to and where they're testing. So they've been looking in the wrong place. I asked them point blank and this will be it. Uh, if a judge compels you to, to share your data and your analysis, would you? He says, absolutely. <laughs> what choice does he have? I mean, the, the truth is, uh, does he want to take it on the chin uh, and have to pay money and release the data now? The calculus is, if you're really confident in the data, then do it. If you feel that there's going to be a rebuttable presumption, then you may wind up paying a lot of money. But, Rich, as always, you got us right on the edge of where we need to be here. Uh, Scott Smith, I want to talk to you quickly. Um, what percent chance do you believe, uh, knowing the data the way you do, that there is a cover-up here? Uh, 100 percent. Thanks for having me, Chris, and it's great to see you again. 100 percent. And here's why. I can explain this in simple in about 25 seconds. Let's say I, I work for multi-billion dollar Norfolk Southern. I get pulled over on the road. I'm clearly drunk, swerving all over. And I tell the, the police, I, you know, I work for Norfolk. They say, oh, you can do your own testing. The reporting limit on Ohio is 0.08. My blood alcohol is 1.2. But the police say, oh, no problem. Do your own testing. So I raise the reporting limit by a factor of 3 to 0.24. My real blood test is 0.15, but what the EPA did here is I say, oh, the reporting limit's 0.24, and my blood alcohol is less than that. It's not detect It's that simple. Mm. And legally, uh, counselor, thank you for being with us. What are the options? If they, sent, if they signed a settlement, how easily could it be overturned so that the people get the truth out, which is what they want most? Well, Chris, thanks again for having me. I used to talk to you on that other station. We won't mention that. Um, and uh, you and I used to talk about 9-11 and how dangerous those toxins were. And the fact is, it wasn't until Jimmy Zedroga's death. That he was a New York City police officer, for your listeners who don't know it. He died of pulmonary fibrosis five years after 9-11, and they did an autopsy. And the family and I together decided this is important. we got to get the word out. In his lung tissue, they found ground glass, asbestos, chromium, lead, benzene. These are all known carcinogens that we weren't aware of 
on 9-11. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget, click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.